Hello guys, in this lecture we are going to write the functionality to validate the profile picture before we allow the users to upload into the system and we are going to be checking for some file format that we'll be accepting in the system. Right now let's go over to our test editor and uh, implement this functionality. First thing first we're going to make some changes in our edit profile page. We're just going to add the form control to allow the user upload image. So I could grab this and paste here, call this five feet and just call this avatar. The type is going to be file and this is going to be avatar and we're going to remove all this. Okay, so let's uh, view it in the browser and see. Edit profile, so we have the button here to allow the user browse and pick a file from their computer. Next, we're going to write a function in our utilities.php to validate the email that the user is attempting to upload. Right here, we're going to create this function. We'll call this is valid image. And this is going to take one parameter, which is going to be file. All right, I'm going to declare our form errors variables. So call this form errors. It's going to be equal to an array. Within this function, we're going to, first of all, try to extract the extension of the file that the user is uploading. So that way we are going to be able to write a statement. We're going to use if or switch statement to check if the file that the user is uh, uploading matches the criteria that we are specifying. So for this example, we're going to be allowing the user to upload either a JPEG, a GIF file, BMP, or a PNG. So if the user is attempting to upload any other file that is not among the listed file, then we are going to uh, add the error message to our form error arrays and prevent the users from uh, completing that operation. All right, so to get the extension, we're going to use the PHP explode function. So we're going to call this uh, parts. We use a period to explode because before the extension of each file, you're going to have a period. So we're going to use a doc as the delimiter to explode the file that we're getting from this parameter of the function. And we're going to store that in parts variable. So basically what we are doing here is just splitting this file into an array using dot because as I explained just now, each file is going to have an extension and uh, preceding the extension will be the file name, a dot and the uh, extension itself. Next, we're going to retrieve the last value in the array and this, that is going to be the extension of the file. So I'm going to call this EST to be equal to the end of parts. So this function is going to actually give us the last value in the array. Let's put some comment here. We split file name into an array using the dot. Next here we are just targeting the last element in the array. All right, so far we have declared a variable to store our error messages. We are splitting the value that is being passed to this function into an array using dot. And next we are just grabbing the extension of the file that was passed to this function. So after collecting this extension, we're just going to check if the extension is valid. For this, uh, we can either use a switch statement or if statement. And I'm going to use the switch statement to actually do this. So the switch statement is going to take the extension. But now before I pass in the extension, I want to convert it to lowercase. So I'm going to use the uh, PHP string to lower function to do that. So convert the extension to lowercase. So we're going to uh, now specify our cases. Our first case is going to be JPG. Then we use a colon. Case two will be give specify column the third case would be bmp last case that i'm checking here is going to be png so you can extend this function actually to suit your need if for example you want to allow the user to upload a document you can uh, also just add a case here to allow the user upload docx for instance for microsoft word document so in our case we are not going to allow this because we just need a picture if the file that the user is uploading has 
an extension that matches any of the uh, extension that were declared within the switch statement we're just going to uh, return the form error which in this case is going to be an empty array so we're going to say return form errors this will be an empty array otherwise we are going to set the form error variable form error variable is going to be equal to uh, we will first of all take the extension of the user we're going to concatenate it with the string is not a valid image extension then we just return from errors all right so we have uh, completed the is valid image function i'm just going to walk through it again in case this is not clear first line here we are declaring our form error arrays next we're just splitting the five parts of this function into an array after that we are going to take the last element in the array which is going to be the extension of the file that was passed to this function after that we're going to use the switch statement to actually check if this extension matches any of the case that we have declared here if it matches any of the case that we have declared here it means that the user is actually trying to upload a valid image so we just return the form errors and in this case form errors is still going to be equal to empty array so there will be nothing in this uh, form error array if the file that the user is uploading doesn't match any of the case that we have declared here then we are just going to set the form error array to be equal to the string and then we are going to return the form error arrays so now we can actually go over to our pass profile.php script and then we are going to implement this function that we've just created there So we're going to be checking when the user is attempting to update their profile. Validate if file has a valid extension. So we're going to first of all check if the user is actually trying to submit a file. So I'm going to create a variable to do this. So say if it's set, we're going to assess the php super global variable for files we're going to look for that name avatar if we go over to our edit profile we see here that we have used the name control avatar here so we're going to be checking if this is set we're going to create another variable called this the avatar so this is just going to be actually equal to the file name so with this we are actually grabbing the name of the file that the user is actually uploading including the extension and everything otherwise avatar is going to be equal to none so we are next going to check if avatar is not equal to none then uh, it means the user is actually trying to upload an image then only we are going to call our is valid image function Otherwise, we are not going to bother calling the function to check if the user is uploading image. So here, we're just going to see if avatar is not equal to none, then we're going to call that uh, image function and store the value in our form error arrays. So we're going to say form errors equal to array match, specify our form error arrays, and then we're going to say is valid image, and then pass in avatar. So what this means is if the user is trying to upload an image that is not valid, our form error is going to have a value here that we have set within that function. And this is going to be false because there's going to be a value here, which means all this code uh, here will not be uh, executed. So let's test this out on the browser and uh, see if we have actually got it right. Edit profile, going to pick this file which is a microsoft word document and uh, open it so attempt to upload nothing happened so i think the reason why that is not responding is uh, we need to go back to our edit profile page so because we're going to be sending image then we can no longer use this form like this. So we need to actually inform the server that we are sending a file. So we're going to set the ink type to be a multi-part form data. Okay, we should refresh. 
edit, select this again, open. So once again, we're getting an error message here, and this is warning saying array merge argument two is not an array. So we are going to go back to our code and check line 59 in our past profile.php file. line 59 okay so this is where we're calling this uh, function and it's telling us that the second argument is not an array which means we need to check what is being returned from our functions in utility.php file all right so obviously we were trying to actually upload a microsoft word document so and uh, this is where the error message is we need to use the square brackets here to indicate that we're adding element to this array that we uh, created at the top here from error arrays so go over to the browser and check this out again try to edit the profile once more now we're getting the correct error message doc is not a valid image extension in our next video, we are actually going to write the functionality to allow the user upload images if they are sending a valid file.